Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and I'm Shubhangi Rawat and today we are going to do a beautiful summer look. Yes, all the tricks and the hacks I'm going to talk about today in the summer look. So let's begin. So before we start, I'm going to take this ice cubes and because it is summer, I'm going to rub this all over my face. extra water with a tissue paper or a soft cotton kerchief. This helps to close your pores and uh, your makeup is long lasting. It doesn't tear off when you go into the sun and uh, we've been doing this while I used to shoot outdoors. So this is something really really do. All my makeup that I used to you know, use eyes before starting the makeup on a on a face. Leave it for like two three seconds. You will feel the texture of your skin is nice and soft. Moving on, I'm going to use my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. You don't have to. You have to skip your moisturizer here because you're going to definitely sweat when you go out in the sun so you can use a photo finish try and avoid not to put it very close to the sweat glands which is your upper lip, your nose area so I am going to put it around On my cheeks, my forehead, which is generally dry because I have a very dry skin. But photo finish is one of the best primer. I generally use it before my bridal makeup also, and it gives a beautiful, smooth finish to your makeup. I'm avoiding the upper lip area because I will tend to sweat here. So after five minutes, we're going to start. I'm using a Nivea lip balm and with the help of my fingers I'm going to nicely rub it Moving on I'm going to use my concealer So wherever you have your dark circles, your spots, very little you need to put. So I generally put it across here because I have a nice green vein. So I put it here. I'm using a dark yellow from MAC. It's again a concealer palette. dab it with my beauty blender you can even use your fingers so when you're using your fingers you have to use your center finger and just dab it but for the summer look I prefer using the beauty blenders now for the outdoor makeup you have to keep your uh, product for a while before we move on to the next product so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave my concealer for some time and um, till then I will quickly do my eyebrows I want to share a new trick so here I'm using my MAC prep and prime I'm going to use I'm going to spray it on my wand mascara wand and I'm just going to brush it I'm 
Now for summers, you have to use your uh, powder to make your eyebrows because if you use pencil, it might just melt out. So I'm using my again Krylon 3 in 1. Because I use prep and prime, it will sit very well onto my eyebrows. See, I'm done with my eyebrows and moving on to today. I'm going to use one only single shade of. Uh, base because I don't want to make it very cakey it should be very natural because you're going to sweat outside so it should not you know come off and the more creamy the more cakey it will crack so I don't want it to look like your second skin so this is a very beautiful product by Krylon it's called Krylon Vita Color you can see so it's in shade F FS28 which is my shade I'm going to shake it before I use it so the oil and the base mixes very well it's a full coverage I'm going to take it very little on my base plate brighter because I am using natural lights there are no artificial lights no ring lights I prefer doing makeup on natural lights so when you go out it looks it should look natural basically so generally we highlight the t-zone so I'm going to keep it lighter for my t-zone I go step by step because I don't like to just put dots all over my face and then blend it because it becomes difficult to blend. So I'm doing each portion. As you can see. Now for my rest of my face, I, what I've done is I've taken Sephora liquid. It is Ponce Deep number 57, and I'm mixing it with my base here and making it a little one shade darker for my entire face. brush and I love the blending with this thing brush it gives a very beautiful blend so my t-zone is a little brighter and my other part of the face It's one shade darker than my T-zone. But if you want to highlight this area, you can add up your uh, concealer, lighter shade concealer and highlight it. Generally, I don't like to highlight my under eye area because I feel the more natural if you want, you don't have to do a lot of cakey stuff under your eyes. So I'm, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take translucent powder place it like this under my eye and 
all over my face. Just dab it with a sponge, triangle sponge. Try and keep your blending sponge and your powder sponge separate. You don't mix it together. Don't forget your neck is For eye makeup, I'm going to use MAC concealer. It's a very creamy and thick base. So I'm going to use it on my eyes. I'm just taking a little white in my eyelid and dab it. I'm using this white base wherever I'm going to deposit my yellow. I'm going to use a white base then. Yellow or blue because then it stands out very beautiful. So you just dab it. You see? Using very close to my inner socket. I'm going to put a little powder with the help of the brush. So you can use any fluffy brush and now my the eye base is done and quickly we'll move on to the eye makeup so today i'm going to use benny it's a beautiful yellow and i'm just going to place it close to my inner corner So this is the blue I'm going to use. And with the same palette, once again, I'm going to use a little darker blue. Just at the ends to give a little depth same on the other side and blending is very important not look patchy so one shade should blend into the other now I'm going to take my yellow I'll go for a light matte highlighter. Again, I'm going to use the sponge and place it here. So the next part is the liner. So I am going to go very close to my lash line and. I will just do the under area 
a little bit of yellow you can even skip a light yellow if you don't want a yellow and then take your blue color and just place it and emulsify a touch of blue at the ends I'm using skin color sajal pencil now the last is the blue liner but I am not going to use the blue liner full so this is the ends I'm going to put a pinch of blue so here I have taken black black liner in the front and going out into a blue liner so I've mixed the black and the blue together so I'm done with my second eyes and uh, we move on to the mascara so again for mascara I'm using uh, Kiko waterproof mascara Moving on, we'll go to the blusher. Before the blusher, we'll just do a little contour, face contouring. And uh, I'm going to use Makeup Studio. contouring to the face it doesn't look too made up and since it's a powder so it won't melt off it will settle on very nicely on your face once you start sweating Masha, I'm going to use an Inglot shade so it's a very natural blusher. It doesn't look like you put a blusher. So I'm just gonna dab it. Liner. I'm going to use Kiko number 507 you can go for a matte lipstick or you can even go for a glossy look or a tinted uh, lips nowadays you get and I'm going to use this um, paste day long lip color it's a waterproof and see here I'm ready with my complete makeup look and this is a small bow this my daughter told me to wear it I'm done. So here is my final look and uh, I hope you like my video 
and uh, you like the tricks and the hacks which I shared with you for this beautiful summer look, don't forget to subscribe my channel. I'll be coming up with more beautiful videos for all you people. So it's a very light, natural looking makeup and uh, it's very easy to do too.